No. Ghost, no. No. Hello internet and welcome back to life's biggest questions. My name is Jack Finch and today I'll be your host as we ask what if direwolves didn't go extinct. Before we get started make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest uploads and leave a comment in the box down below. Let us know how much you love direwolves, you know stuff like that. Now you might be thinking what are you even talking about? How can direwolves go extinct when they weren't even real in the first place? They're from a TV show and although we love Ghost, Nymeria and Grey Wind, RIP, frankly you know nothing Jon Snow. Let me assure you they weren't just a figment of George R.R. R. Martin's imagination. Direwolves were as real as Kanye's new hat. They roamed the planet 125,000 years ago, tall, proud, and ferocious as a House Stark banner. But what would our lives be like if the direwolf was still around today? What would our planet even look like? Well, let's find out. The direwolf is the most famous prehistoric carnivore of North America, right alongside its mortal enemy, the saber-toothed tiger. These powerful canines prowled the continent during the Earth's last ice age. These ferocious beasts were also pretty big boys, weighing anywhere between 125 and 175 pounds of near enough pure muscle. Direwolves were some tough puppies, and their bite could chomp down with 129% more force than the modern wolf. In short, they were the most unstoppable predator in the entirety of North America. So, if they never would have died out and disappeared, where would they be? Now, as we know, wolves are the quintessential pack animal, a primitive hive mind intelligence that ensures strength in numbers. If we've learned anything from Game of Thrones, when the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. In modern times, we know that a pack of timber wolves can bring down a 500 kilogram moose relatively easy, and it's been theorized that a pack of dire wolves could easily bring down an ancient bison that weighs over 1,500 kilograms. That's absolutely huge. And well, do you know what else was snacking on ancient bison back in the day? Yeah, us, prehistoric humans. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here and wonder that the relationship between House Stark and their dire wolves wasn't just plucked out of thin air. The grey wolf eventually became domesticated enough to become man's best friend, dogs. So is it far removed to wonder whether dire wolves could have gone down the exact same path? if they'd never gone extinct. Would this have had a knock-on effect with our own evolution? Domestic dogs gave human hunter-gatherers an incredible edge over their environment. It allowed us to cover wider ground and bring down much more formidable prey. We had more food to eat, and so did our canine best friends. Everyone was a winner. Now imagine that with a dire wolf. As a pair, we'd have been completely unstoppable. A big stone axe and a huge hulking dire wolf at our side. Perhaps that have even become an intrinsic part of our own society. Tribes would have gone to war with each other with huge packs of direwolves beside their warriors. They'd plow into battle, shredding and ravaging anything that crossed their paths. Pretty rock and roll. And maybe such an effective weapon would have carried through all the way to larger North American civilizations. The First Nations could have developed such an unbreakable and ferocious bond with their direwolves that, who knows, maybe the European settlers would have taken one look and thought, nah, don't think we'll try and take that on. And who knows, maybe we'd have become so codependent on direwolves that they were a necessity even in modern society. Security forces, even the police, would have had entire dire canine units bred purely for fighting crime. Now, I know what you're thinking, that's just dogs. And yes, essentially, they'd have filled the exact same role as dogs do now, just much, much bigger and incredibly terrifying. Crime rates would likely plummet. Who wants to rob a convenience store when you're more than likely going to be chased down by a ravaging direwolf? Yeah, I didn't think so. Put that Snickers bar back. The world that we know it would be a much safer place, all thanks to our huge, cuddly, snarling best friends. And then we've got to talk about the military. From the early 1900s, and even as recently as 1987, elephants were used as machine gun mounts in armed conflict. The US Navy still uses dolphins to hunt for mines, and in 1942, the Polish army had a bear that fought alongside them as a corporal. I think we know where this is going. In a reality where direwolves have had a symbiotic relationship with humanity for thousands of years, we definitely see battalions of direwolves in the United States military. World War II would have seen hordes of direwolves storming the beaches of Normandy and landing craft, and special divisions of direwolf paratroopers would have been dropped deep 
within enemy lines. The advancement wouldn't stop there either. With modern technology, we'd see direwolves strapped with automatic weapons, remotely operated and similar to drone warfare. As we mentioned earlier, direwolves were pretty much made of pure muscle. Their bone structure was incredibly strong and can withstand intense pressure. You guessed it, we'd see armoured direwolves strapped in bulletproof Kevlar mounted with machine guns. In Jurassic World, we see Chris Pratt's character, Owen Grady, training another prehistoric pack animal, the Velociraptor. After great lengths, we could coordinate our fluffy friends into following a single human leader who would orchestrate them into action. They'd have some badass sounding name like Chief Direwolf Officer or Dire Commander. They'd probably be made into movies starring Dwayne Johnson too. Well, we can always imagine, can't we? Sadly, that's all we've got time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's question as much as we have. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment in the box down below. We'll be seeing you soon, but until next time, take it easy.